Hello everyone and welcome to the Scratch Coding class. In this video I'm going to explain all the control, signed and event blocks on Scratch in 7 minutes. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and let's get the channel to 50 subscribers and it would help because 86% of you are not subscribed. Right, let's get started. If you haven't already, make sure to check out the motion and the look blocks in 7 minutes but if you have, let's get started. So, here is our first block. Play sound, B trumpet until done and you can choose your own sound and you can import your sound from the library like so or you can record your sound or you can upload your sound and there is a surprise there. So this will just basically play the sound for its full length. This one is start sound and it's basically a very similar function it's just going to play the sound. And this one will just stop all sounds playing in the background. Right that's the first three blocks the next three are effects. So there are pitch effects in scratch with your notes and there is a pan left right effect. The pitch effect is how high your note is so if you change the pitch effect higher it would basically make the note sound higher and then here you can set the effect which is completely different to changing it and this one is pan left to right and this basically just means causing the audio to shift towards the left or the right output track and this can go up to 100 or it can go minus 100 so that's your blocks there and this one will just basically clear all the effects so it's back to normal again right volume is how loud your sound is so volume by minus 10 means that the volume is going to go down by minus 10. If you're setting the volume to 100 that means you're giving the volume 100%. 100 is just the normal volume as you can see here and this special type of shape will be used in operators in a future video. So that's our first few blocks done. The next is event. So this is the when green flag clicked and when you click on the green flag something will happen and these must be put at the start of a script because of the shape and then your space key pressed is basically you can change it to any key but when a key is pressed on the keyboard something will happen the code will execute so this one is when sprite clicked again once the sprite is clicked the code will be executed and this one is when backdrop switches too so I'm going to do a quick example here so I'm just going to go next backdrop and when it switches to backdrop 1, this is backdrop 2, it moves 10 steps so you can change the backdrop of course as normal. So now this one is when loudness, so loudness is your volume which we talked about earlier so when the volume is like, greater than 10 or something then it will execute the code and you can change it to timer and timer we will get into in a future video it's under sensing and there is a timer right there so that is our timer so you can figure that out yourself before you watch the next video coming up so again when the timer is greater than 10 then it will do something and you can of course change the 10 to whatever value you wish so now this block this block and this block involves messaging and messaging is sort of like I'm giving you a command or if you like to think of it as a function so broadcast a message means I'm sending a, like a sending a command to the sprite to do something so it's very useful block and you can of course name your message but I'm just gonna do a quick example I'm gonna broadcast message one when message one received it's gonna move 10 steps I just did so that is an example of messaging and it's useful with multiple sprites so it's probably not a good example with one and this one will just broadcast the message and wait so that is all the event blocks explained and now we have time for the control blocks so this is a wait block it will just basically wait for a certain number of seconds before it does something these are repeat loops and this one will repeat something forever. This one will repeat it for a certain number of times and you can type that in. So now these blocks are your if blocks and these are very very handy when you're with operators, you're working with numbers. So if then, so if something happens then 
it will do something. This one, if something happens, then it will do something, or if it does not happen, it will do something else. So for example, if you go into your phone and you enter the password, if the password is right, it will be here. If the password isn't right, it will be here. So that's just a quick example. And now, wait and repeat. So this is another loop, it's going to repeat until something happens and you can determine that with operators which we will get into in a future video. This one is wait until, it will wait until something happens. You can determine that with operators as I just said. So we have about 2 minutes, we're near neither. This is a stop block, it will just stop everything if you want to stop all. This script, which is just going to stop the script that's at. Notice that it has sort of this shape and you can only use this at the end of a script. And other scripts in Sprite is just going to stop all the other scripts that are running in the Sprite. And finally, the next bit is cloning. And cloning is not like a, it is a duplicate of a Sprite, but don't be fooled into thinking it's another Sprite. It's just a copy of this Sprite. So it's not when I make a clone, it's not going to say Sprite 2 or anything. So here's an example I've duplicated the Sprite, but there are no two Sprites at the bottom but you probably can't see that. So, delete the clone means I just delete any clones that I've made and you can give your code different programs like when you start as a clone and then you can do stuff. So you can also create clones of probably other sprites and this is when I start as a clone. You can it only applies to the clones. It doesn't apply to the sprite that is being cloned. So be aware of that and cloning is very useful if you're like getting say like a rocket to shoot lightning bolts at hippos in space for example it's just a game. Uh, you will want to make clones of hippos. You don't want like a maze for example. You don't want like a thousand coins. You just want to clone a thousand coins. So that block is just very useful if you want more than one thing. If you know what I mean. We have 10 seconds and I think we have went over every single block here so it is a success and the time's gonna run out. Yeah there we go so I hope you have enjoyed this video and we have went over all the blocks in the sound, the events and the control so I hope you can now use those in your code and again finally make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it and check out all my other videos. So there will be a video as I said on the 25th of December 2020 in the last video and it will be music with the EV3 so stay tuned for that. But thanks so much for watching this video and I'll see you soon.